Welcome to our channel. I want us to discuss uh, from three biology topic uh, classification to uh, subtopic kingdom fungi. Uh, this is lesson number three. Now you need to know uh, examples of kingdom fungi. Number one, you have mushroom. Uh, we have toadstools. We have molds, e.g., uh, rhizobus. We have yeast. We have smut, and we have uh, penicillin. Now, what are the general characteristics of kingdom fungi? Number one, they are multicellular, meaning uh, their body is made up of uh, many cells. Number two, they are heterotrophic, that is, uh, they have either a parasitic or a saprophytic mode of uh, nutrition. Uh, they store their carbohydrates in form of uh, glycogen and lipids in form of oil uh, droplets. Number three, number four, uh, most of them have a cell wall, uh, which is made up of uh, chitin or uh, cellulose. Uh, they have a network of hyphae or mycelia and the mode of reproduction is uh, by asexual uh, which is uh, by means of uh, uh, sporulation and budding in yeast. Now what are the similarities between uh, kingdom fungi and uh, kingdom plantae? Number one, their cells are both enclosed by a cell wall and number two, they both have vacuoles and granules that contain uh, stored food. Now, what are the general characteristics of um, example of kingdom fungi, which is mold? Number one, they consist of uh, long uh, filamentous structures called hyphae, and the whole structure is called uh, mycelium. Now, the hyphae are enclosed by a cell wall, which is made up of a chitin, that is a fungal uh, cellulose. Uh, again, uh, the hyphae that lies on the surface are called uh, stolons. The other characteristic is hyphae. Uh, that supports the mycelium to the, to the surface of the substrate are called uh, rhizoids, uh, that is the parasitic uh, fungi of uh, Haustoria. Uh, number five, hyphae that grow uh, vertically are called uh, sprongiospores and form uh, reproductive structures called uh, sprongia. Uh, singular is sprongium that bear or carry spores. Now, what is the function of the rhizoids? Uh, number one, they provide anchorage that is support. Number two, absorption of uh, soluble uh, substances. Number three, they produce enzymes which digest organic materials in the substrate. NB, uh, rhizoids differ from plant roots in that they lack uh, vascular bundles. This is mold that's rhizobus, e.g. the bread mold. We have a sprongium there. We have the sprongiosphore. This is the stalon. We have the rhizoids here that support or provide anchorage. Again, we have the spores there. Then we have young sporangium. The other example is, is yeast. You can see the structure of yeast. We have the nucleus, the vacuole, the glycogen granules, the cell wall. Now here we have a study question. A student left a piece of bread on an open place accidentally. Uh, three days later, he observed uh, some black substance developing. Explain how the black substance was formed. So the answer to this is uh, the spores of bread mold deposited on the damp bread, uh, which germinated into hyphae. When mature, the hyphae grew into a sporangiospores. The sporangia developed on the top of the sporangiospores. Spores formed in the sporangia, which turned black as they matured and dried up. Now, finally, you need to know the economic importance of fungi. You have positive and negative. Number one, you have uh, saprophytes. They help in decomposing dead uh, matter, which increases soil fertility and contribute to uh, recycling of nutrients. Number two, they cause uh, decay or spoilage of food. This is a negative. Number three, some cause diseases, e.g. ringworm in human beings cause athletes food disease. Uh, number four, some they cause plant diseases, e.g. Uh, wheat rust, uh, soft root, and potato blight, uh, thus reducing the productivity of plants. Number five, yeast is a source of vitamin B. And number six, yeast is used in brewing and baking industries. Number seven, some are used in the production of antibiotics, e.g. you have chloromycin and streptomycin, uh, penicillin from penicillin fungus. Number eight, some are used as a source of food uh, for humans, e.g. mushroom. Then you have uh, mycorrhizal associations, help plants in the intake, that's absorption of uh, minerals from the soil. Number 10, you have some are used in the production of organic acids. And finally, some, e.g. the mildew can ruin clothes 
uh, books and other uh, materials uh, thank you that is the end of our lesson for more videos subscribe like share and comment thank you again